Hi and welcome to McGunn Media. In this video I'm going to show you how to style butterflies for photography. Yes, I did say style them for photography. There are a lot of videos out there on how to hydrate butterflies and to open them for entomological and collector's reasons. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I am going to show you how to style them for photography. The difference is, is for photography, I will need the wings to be styled in a way that perhaps suggests that they are still in flight. The entomological and scientific ways of styling them or pinning them is to open the wings fully flat so that they can be displayed in a display case fully open. And for photography, that's not always ideal. If you're finding this video to be useful, and I hope that you are, please click the like, subscribe and notification bell. Just, just go ahead and do it now. I'll wait for you. Have you done it? Awesome. We'll move on. When you purchase your butterflies online, and I've purchased mine from an Etsy shop, they'll often be packaged for entomological purposes, i.e. people who actually collect butterflies and then display them and show them in display cases. So how they're packaged can vary. Some may come in plastic. I don't know if you can see that, but some will come in plastic. Others will be wrapped up in envelope packages like this one or even this. Now, however they're going to come to you, they're going to be come with their wings folded up and they will need to be hydrated. For obvious reasons of packaging, they're put together this way so that they are shipped and delivered to you in the best possible condition. So when you receive them, you will need to put them in a hydrating chamber. This sounds all very complicated, but don't worry. They're very, very easy to make and I'm going to show you right now how to make them. The first thing you're going to need for your hydration chamber is a Tupperware box. A rectangular container that has a lid that seals really, really well. So something like this that has the clips will work perfectly for you. Now, I have experimented using just a jam jar and the thing I would say about using a jam jar is that if you have butterflies that have really big wingspans, if they're put inside a jam jar and they touch the glass, you are going to damage the wings of the butterfly. If you have small wings on your butterfly, using a jam jar instead of a Tupperware is perfectly okay. But I would always recommend you using the technique I'm going to show you because it does prevent breakages when you're taking it out of the container later. Alongside your Tupperware container, you will need a disinfectant cloth and you can use any cloth you like. Um, I've just used here a floor wipe. Anything that has antibacteria um, agents in it will help make sure that your butterflies stay fresh and don't smell of mold when they come out of the chamber. You're going to need some tissue paper and some foil. An ordinary kitchen foil will do for this. The first thing you'll need to do is take your plastic container and then lay on the bottom your disinfectant towel. Once that's happened, then put in two or three pieces of kitchen paper so that it's literally like a sandwich you're layering up. And the next layer you're going to put in is some aluminium foil. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the aluminium foil concertinaed. And what this does is it enables your butterflies to sit on top of the aluminium foil rather than on top of the wet tissues, but allows all of the moisture to go into the envelopes and the butterflies as they sit on top of this third layer. Once you've concertinaed the aluminium foil that fit directly to your Tupperware container, take that out of the box and then boil a kettle of water. 
use that water to then drip over the tissues. And once the tissues are moist, then put back in the aluminium foil layer and then add in your butterflies. Once all of that is done, seal your container and because then the hot air will obviously create a little bit of condensation, it means that your butterflies will hydrate. Leave it there for 24 hours and by which time your butterflies will be ready and should be flexible enough to pin out and style the way you want them for photography. So once your butterflies are hydrated, you're going to then want to pin them out. And the equipment you're going to need for that is as follows. First and foremost, you're going to want some pins. And I strongly recommend that you actually use the pins that are butterfly pins. You can buy them on Amazon or on Etsy. And the reason being is they are much slimmer than your regular pins for sewing. Um, I've tried it, believe me. This, this is the way to go. You'll need thin pins in order to make sure that the butterflies actually stay intact when you pin them out and style them. The next piece of equipment you're going to need is a polystyrene board. And I recommend polystyrene because the pins go easily through it. If you have foam core board as well, you can use that. But I suggest that you don't use craft board or cardboard that is really rigid because you'll find that the pins will go inside but may not come out so easily. So you want a piece of material that the pins go in really quickly and also out of. And the reason for that is as you've finished pinning out your butterfly, you'll want a material that you can easily just extract the pins without having to play tug of war with it and possibly damage the butterfly that you've so carefully styled. The next piece of equipment you're going to want is kitchen vegetable paper. It's the stuff that you line your baking trays with. You could also use tracing paper or some other very thin paper. The reason why I use this is because it's acid free and it's very, very light. And so I can pin the butterfly wings out and you'll see me using it as we go through this video. The next piece of equipment that you may want to use is tweezers. Now this isn't mandatory, it's just a set of tweezers that I have in my toolkit that I use a lot for various things. They're actually from an electrical soldering kit that I think we purchased on Amazon and I've been using them ever since in my toolkit for photography. They do help split the wings out and separate them, but you can do it with your fingers. It's just very fiddly. So I recommend getting a pair of these tweezers. Once you have removed your butterfly from your hydration chamber and made sure that the wings do open and so they're flexible enough to actually pin out, the first pin that you're going to want to put in is the pin that will hold the butterfly in place for everything that you do. And you're going to want to put this pin just behind the head of the butterfly and into the thorax. If you push that pin all the way through, it should also then come out the other side and just land just between the feet of your butterfly. And this means that from then on, that's going to be the pin that stays with the butterfly that you can pick up out of the polystyrene that you put down. So put that pin in place and you're set to start. The next two pins that you put in place are really to stabilize the butterfly. They are then put either side of the tail of the butterfly, so in between the wings, but just either side of the tail. That means that when you're working on pulling the wings out or working on the feet, the whole body stays in place. If you don't put these two pins in place, what's gonna happen is your butterfly will pivot around the first pin that you put in place and you're going to end up damaging your butterfly when you try and style the feet. The next thing I do is to style the feet themselves. And I generally tease them out and just place them in a way where they are perhaps a little visible to camera. I'm not interested in particularly realism here. 
I want to make sure that the couple of feet are visible to my camera lens so that when I take a photo of them, they're kind of in the frame as if the butterfly is grabbing a petal or just going into land. And that's how I choose to style them. It's just pulling out each particular leg and then pushing a pin in so that it holds that leg slightly away from its body so that when you see it in profile, you're gonna see a leg just coming down off the butterfly. Repeat this for all of the, the legs on your butterfly on both the right side and the left side. The very last thing I then go on to do is the wings themselves. Now, because we are styling this for photography, there's a lot of different positions I may want the wings to be in. Very often I will want the wings to be slightly open as if they are just in flight rather than fully open flat or fully closed as the butterflies came to me in. So in order to do that, I actually rip up a piece of my vegetable paper and I then use that to open the wing or one side of the wing, not fully, but just where I would like it to be positioned and then pin the paper rather than the wing in place so that it holds the wings in that open position that I like. And I repeat the same on the other side and I try and match them as symmetrically as possible because that's how the wings operate in real life. Once I have pinned the wings, that's pretty much everything done. I will leave the butterfly like this now for 24 hours so that it dries out and it stays in place. After the 24 hours is up, I will then slowly and carefully remove the pins. Please don't worry if when you find the butterflies have arrived in your packet and perhaps some of the legs have come off or even the head or you've gone through all of this process and when you come to style it some of the legs fall off it happens they are ever so fragile and this is going to happen and honestly this kind of comes with practice the more you style, the more you do this with the butterflies, obviously the less legs and things are gonna fall off on you, but honestly, it does happen. Don't worry when it does, just go through all of this process, style your butterfly, let it dry, and then unpin it once the drying time is up, once you've styled it, and then repairs can be done. And for repairs, all I use is a little packet of super glue and I literally glue the wing or the feet or the head back onto my butterfly in the position I want it to be. Again, I'm not here for accuracy, I'm here for what will look good in camera. So a piece of super glue on that is not going to show in camera. I hope that you found this video to be useful and if you have, please don't forget to hit the subscribe, like and notification bell. It helps the channel grow. And if you have tried these techniques, please drop us a comment below and let us know how you got on. <laughs> boiling water boiling contains, water. <laughs> contains, contains boiling water. <laughs> contains water. The difference is... If you're enjoying... Mm -mm -mm. Collectors don't come after me.